everyone, Cat Weasel here. Welcome to the channel, and welcome back to our playthrough of Watro. And we're just about to kick off, get a few quests from Dwaylin and his company, and sort this place out. So let's crack on. Oh, first of all, we've we've got a little pressy because I'm a VIP. I wanted to get a thousand marks. You'll see what they are later on if I carry on playing. <laughs> Right, Dwaylin. A little extra, it never hurts. Will you stay about. and speak with me a moment? <laughs> oh, this is how I get me riding characteristic. Yeah, so I'll just accept. And if I go in again. Greetings. Accept this mount. So I get um I get another <laughs> get another horse and um, but I've got the riding oh. characteristic. So, if we go on, I knew it was something like that. Um, this is uh, Virtue. So, I drink that and I get extra Virtue uh, points. But, uh, I've got to wait till level 7 for that. So, I'll put that down there. Um, let's have some mushrooms. Why not? That gives a bit of a boost. So, we've got a little extra steed. But, I think... I have that mount. I can add all these now. So these all get added. Oh, all the little horses. So all of those have been added. And if I actually go here, and then da, 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 one should be mounts. Where are they? Oh, I'm looking at the right place. Oh, skills. Go into skills. <laughs> And then mounts down here. Oh, I eventually remembered. So I've got all these horses that I can use. Uh, but we're going to use the Steed of East Emnet. So I'm going to put it down there. So get rid of them. And then if I click it, a horse! Awesome. And uh, those were all the um, cosmetics horse got. Yeah. So uh, that is our horse now. He's called Strongheart. We can change that, but uh, Strongheart, uh, it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm glad we've sorted that out and we'll carry on with Dwaylin. Intro Goblin Might Prowlers. You lend me an ear? This quest has been restored for the legendary servers. The elves told me about goblins dibbing, in, dibbing, digging in Silver Deep, and what with the mine guards and the red-robed man. Well, it's got me thinking: Are the dour hands involved? The twitch in my whiskers says yes, but I need solid evidence before I start hurling accusations. The first thing to do is learn if the dower hands are using goblins cohorts kill one of the goblins prowling about west of here and search its body for proof of the dower hands in involvement cool so we may as well get all the rest of the quests while we're at it oh, nah. have you seen the barrow hands nearby why do Bargus now haunt our fair lands have you seen the barrow hounds nearby bimbling the others think they're just bleak wild dogs, but I know better. These are no mere dogs. They are bar guests. In my travels some years ago, I once happened upon the most forsaken place I have ever seen. Dread filled me, and my voice died, and all was cold. The dogs there were the very same as these black, mournful beasts, with their eyes full of death. Why have they come to replace the lynx and wild auroch herds that roamed here in Thorin's day? It does not make any sense. They must be driven off. Quite right, and we will as well. We'll drive them off. And what's going on here? So this guy. Cave dwelling Greetings, menace. Will you stay a moment? And again, we've got something else from the legendary servers uh, that's been resurrected. Blasted nuisances. Even the dullest dwarf knows you don't overmine a cavern. Riddle it with holes and the whole floor is apt to collapse. Well, the cave claws don't know that and their incessant digging is going to be the ruin of us all. 
What? You expect the Dower Hands to do something about it? A <laughs> clever jest, but I'm not laughing. Can you lend us some aid in dealing with the pests? The Cave Claws, mind you, not the Dower Hands. Although... There we go. Oh, he's got another one. Silver Lined Cure. Welcome! You have come at a most fortuitous time. I'll not last long if... If help cannot be found for me. Fortunately, I know of something which may be of aid. There are bushes which grow in the Vale just northeast of Ferrin's Court called Nesta Dallas. Venture out northeast of Ferrin's Court and gather up leaves from these bushes. They are said to have healing properties. They may well be my only chance. Now make haste and do not get lost. So he's ill as well. Everybody's ill, man. So I think that is it. And let's have a look at the map, see where everything is. So, just do stuff around here, I think. Indeed, yes, we'll kill some of these beasts. Well, he was easy. I guess done. And silver lined cure. Let's go over here. Let's see if we can see anything. There's some. Let's kill by our guest while we're at it. But we don't know that. to the next one. Doubtless, the uh, Silver Deep Mine. Just go in and kill a few of the Cave Claws. Because these were old quests that have been resurrected, this is why we're going back to a place where we've uh, been before, I think. Trying to sort out the um, background music and the noise. Some of it's a bit loud, and then I think he overdid it and it went a bit quiet. So hopefully it'll be just about right. I do like to have the the music for this game. It's brilliant. Um, <laughs> I know I've said a load about this game being brilliant, but. There is some aspects of it that are. The music is 
is fantastic. I love the death animations. You know, they don't do about 15 pirouettes before they die. They just sort of slump to the ground. Um, the sounds they make is, is really good. There's just loads of little things like that that really make this game brilliant. And I thoroughly enjoy it. Well, may as well have these in, seeing as uh, going past. Well met, friend. You certainly took care of that problem. I'll see to it that the Dower Hands do their part from now on. At your service. And good, good. Your Just the smell of these leaves is helping to ease the pain. Now I will tell you what I know. Let's take those chainmail gauntlets. Oh, no. <laughs> those dogs chill my heart. Thank you, Bimblin. Those dogs chill my heart. You did a good deed for these lambs by driving them back. Perhaps someday the Lynx and Aurochs will be able to return to these parts. Someday. I wonder why the wretched dogs settled here to begin with. The Dower Hands, man. It's the Dower Hands. Let's have a look. Oh. Outfits. Well, I've already shown you that. I'm just going to look at this. Uh, is that any better than what I've got? No, in fact, it's exactly the same stuff. These must be the old quests. We'll do them because they brought them back for the server. But obviously, they updated the quests back in the day. And, um, what is the meaning of this? They turn those ones off. Well, it just means extra XP and uh, extra coin for us. We should also be getting a Prezi from Bimble. Bimble the Hobbit sent us a Prezi. Which is very nice of him. He sent us 100 silver pieces. Which uh, just helps out early in the game. We'll soon get our own money. But uh, it's just nice to uh, have a little extra right at the beginning. Champions Challenge. Oh, so I must have. Apply. Don't think this is starting yet. No, level 7. That'll start. So we're nearly there. We're at level 6, are we not? Let's have a look at the last piece of sludge. Right, now, kill bears. Challenge when I can. In fact, I think I'll move Rend up as well while we're at it. Let's get a bit of extra fervor. Straight up. Right, so we've done that. So the last thing we've got to do. Time being, let's search a goblin prowler. Where do they knock around? Let's check the map. Yeah, tell me a bit about my business. You won't be here long, Chumley. Kicking you out. Right, there's one. Just dismount. Shout our challenge. Kick his ass. Collecting the sword. 
Okay. Back on our horse. Away we go. Onward. So we're doing these extra quests, it's sort of elongated our uh, introduction, I'm afraid. Um, should if the see. water of the river has oh, been tainted, yeah. mountain springs should be the purest of water. I meant to read that, I forgot. Sorry, forgot. Mountain springs are always the purest of water, especially in these parts. Something must be causing the water to run foul. Will you explore the source of the river? Perhaps there will be evidence as to what caused the vile plague, because now we don't even know what it is that's making my poor dwarf sick. If we can make the river run clean again, I have hope for the animals and the snows here as well. Maybe Thorin's Hall won't be lost to sickness. Right, we'll do that then. Goblin Madness. I knew it. Goblins with dwarf craft weapons. This is the stink of Dowerhand devilry. They've gone back to their old ways, have they? Well, we'll give them something to think about. It's time to get to the bottom of this. Once and for all. And, oh, he's got another. Hill-dwelling menace. Might you lend me an ear? While this matter of dower hands and goblins being in league with one another cannot be ignored, we must set our attention on more pressing matters. To the southwest, there is an encampment of goblins on the slopes above Frerin's Court. Go there and deal with a lot of them. In the meantime, I'm going to look into this Dowerhand matter further. Okay, let's just have a look at these rings. We'll put them on. Excellent. Are any of these actual. Ooh, got three light hides. Use them for crafting, so we'll put them to one side. Torn furs, see here. This may be turned in for item, uh, turned in for tasks in Swampley, so we'll put that to one side. So that's just an example of these task items. They will have this red text on them, so you know not to sell them. We'll sell all the other rubbish. It is an insult! because we want to keep them. Uh, right. Ooh, Bolly, what do you want me? Welcome. You have come at a most fortuitous time. You ever hear of Frostmantle? It's an Oroch. A big one. Twice as mean. You can't get close to him without being attacked by the thing. And it is getting too dangerous to just leave him alone. I fear that someone's bound to get trampled, gored, or worse. Say what? What say you go and kill the brute forest? Return with one of its horns and I'll see to it that you're rewarded. You'll find wandering to the west of here by the old obelisk. The thing smells like an unwashed beard. So when in doubt, just follow your nose. Cool. Right, we'll deal with him. And let's have a look at the old map. Way. So it's all around here. Right. Let's get rid of the goblins first. Up here. Dismount and seat them out. That's one. <laughs> Take that. Another one. You there. Ticket. 
taste my cold steel. And one more. You. There we are. That's them dealt with. Kill this one button on the way down. Can I actually get down this way? No, I can't. No, I can't. So let's get on my horse. Rock to find and A modern game, when someone dies, it like bloody pirouettes, does a 60 somersaults and then dies. It looks ridiculous. Alright, so I'll kick some ass here. First, at your service. Ah, you have done it. Families. That'll keep the area a bit safer, eh? Good job. So, we're gonna take that home dax. We've already got this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna dual wield axes. We've got two home axes now. Look at that. How cool do we look? Proper dwarf now, dual wielding, dual wielding axes. Absolutely brilliant. Dwelling, hill dwelling menace. Greetings. Excellent work, Bimblin. With the threat of the goblins lessened, we can deal with more sinister matters here in the valley. Thank you for all your hard work. I trust this will prove an ample reward. We'll just pick one. Right, what else have we got to do? Oh. Got to find a putrid spring. Let's just sell some rubbish. It is an insult. Go. I should have carried on looking for the source of the poison. My fault. This is the source of the poison, all this industrial pollution.
because they didn't do it the other time. I'm gonna get behind the final leads now, aren't I? Gonna get some dual wheeling access to the face. Now, oh, want to go? Feeling lucky. Ah. Oh, here's the other son of Elrond, Elrohia. Right. While zooming in for a chat with him. Oh, he's a lot more flamboyant, isn't he? Those are ill tidings. The dwarves with Dwalin drank from the river water below, you say? That is ill tidings. The creatures here are transformed by plague and look as if they will die very soon. I came this way to scout for signs of my father's dream, but the grim dwarves here have kept me from getting much farther. Something evil stirs in that cave. Can you feel it? I believe there may be hope for the sick dwarves yet. I believe there may be hope for the sick dwarves, Bimblin. When poisons seep into the land, oftentimes the land will strive to heal itself, much as our own bodies will fight infection. If you explore inside the mountain, you might find just such an event. I believe that medicinal plants will grow inside, and those will help to cure the dwarves. But the source of the poison itself is yet to be discovered. Though I have my suspicions, I feel a powerful chill when I stand near this entrance to the mountain. I will stand guard here while you explore the cave. Yes, I thought you might. Okay. So, in we go. Back into the Merkstone Tunnels. I think I know where this is going to lead us, but... Uh, nice. Undead! Oh God, I may know. You there. Herb. Ah! 
also be looking. What's this? A mossy shrine. Uh oh. <laughs> Too nosy for me, old god. The fell spirit has evaporated, but the dreading boat by its words lingers. Okay. But we've got all of our healing herbs. Let's take up a chumley. Side guarding our rear. hero to those dwarves. Ah, you have collected pure herbs. You will be a hero to those dwarves, Bimblin. Tell me what you saw in the cave while I mix a salve to help the sick. You shall take a scale helmet. These leaves can be crushed to make a powerful remedy. Do you smell the clear sap? It is the blood of the mountain, striving to cleanse itself of corruption. God, it's such a hippie. Take this file, Bimblin. I have drained enough sap to save those dwarves. If we can rally them in time, our two parties should be able to rid Erid Lewin of the horrible fate that awaits it. I will not stand idly by while these fair clean lands are poisoned with death. Go well, my friend. Hopefully, I will see you again when we meet to put a stop to this madness. And we'll accept that. And I think that's it. Go. Oh, I'm going to have to deal with these clowns, aren't I? On the way out. Ooh. Axe man. I'm the axe man. Don't you forget it. Hadad, I made you! Strong heart away. You guys, what are you doing? Working for the dower hands. Get a union. Sort yourselves out. Okay, back to dwelling. Or dwelling. Can this be? Can this be? By what miracle do you return with a draft to cure my poor dwarves? You are a valuable friend to have, Bimblin. Please don't let me get in your way. Go ahead and give that remedy to the sick dwarves. So, bogey. Seller. Mathy Stout Hand. Dead is dead, in my opinion. What is this nonsense? Now that there is hope for the sick among my company, we can deal with the more pressing matter at hand. What is this nonsense about Gormir wishing to raise Skorgrim from the dead? Dead is dead in my opinion. You can't bring someone back. It sounds like Gormir has got some bad ideas in his head. And 
Erid Lewin has become corrupted in his hands. We will take it back, Bimblin. Let's have some rust colored dice. Come and stay a moment. We cannot allow the Dower Hands to resurrect their king with such foul sorcery, Bimblin. They have poisoned the mountains and soiled the lands of Thorin. Gormir's fault for corruption is unforgivable. Come, let us journey to the tomb. The sons of Elrond are waiting. We will make a great stand against the Dower Hands, and they will think twice before falling to greed again. Ah, I remember now. Right, now we're going to do an instance again. Travel now. It would seem that Gormor and the Dower Hands have allied themselves with evil fell spirits of old, just as Scorgrim himself did long ago. Now Ivar the Bloodhand, a gaunt lord, threatens to sway the Dower Hands to evil with the terrifying ritual about to take place in Scorgrim's tomb. So there we have it. But we've actually gone up a level, I believe. So spend that point to help us in the coming battle. And our virtues should have kicked off by now. So if I actually take that little uh, vial of virtue potion. See there? So top banana. We can actually pull. Oh no. I've got to get at least one rank in it. And then I'll be able to put it in there. Or as it stands. I can't. Helmet. sense it bimbling there's evil in the air here the last time I felt something like this was when I was crossing through Mirkwood all those years ago we need to keep our wits sharp in there I'll row here and the others are here to help but we shouldn't delay too long or we may miss our chance to stop whatever evil is happening here we must go now are you ready I'm ready let's do it slightly faster, haven't I? Slow down. To the end of this hall, we'll stop the Dower Hands! And there he is, Gormir. What's going on? Gormir, you must stop this. Stop. Dower hands even as the Dower hands reclaim their glory, I think not. No more will the Longbeards and Elves determine our fortunes. Scott Green will return. Now let's get fighting. <laughs> directly. We will stop us if we try. We'll need to find another way around. Aladdin and El Row here will go to see if they can find an alternative path. We will head up these stairs and see if we can sneak around the side. Let's hurry. Well, I'm hurrying. Don't know about you two lads. See for whatever's going on. My blimey, look at him. He bar the blood hand. Patience. He 
It is time to bring back the great dwarf lord. But first, sacrifices must be made. Sacrifices? What are you saying? Let you read that, boys. That go. to the dower hands even if we could not stop the ritual from taking place score green will have to be dealt with another day quickly we must flee whatever evard has done the place is coming down around us let's just flee the two two-handed axe like he's got. So we do stuff like that. God, just hanging back again. Tough boys. Come and get some. 
Should be the end of the intro now. Let us leave these halls behind us. Ah, even though we did not stop the Dower Hand's plans, we've done well this day, Bimblin. At the end of the day, Thorin's Hall should be free of the Dower Hands, and all will know they are dwarves of no account. I wonder, though, when we will see the effects of this day and the return of Skorgrim. I will be glad to have you in Thorin's Hall as one of my good and sturdy dwarves. Now, let us leave these halls behind us. Still don't recognize the fact that I'm your cousin twice removed. Are you ready to leave these halls, friend? I for one will be glad to put them behind you. Let's just travel now. Yay! And the crowd goes wild. What do you need? Right, we'll finish that now. Will you stay and speak with me a moment? The captain of the guard, Unar, has been look. Oh, got some mail. Oh, that'll be from uh, Bimble. The captain of the guard, Unar, has been looking for you for an hour at least. And what's worse for you, he's already angry due to a card, a guard having abandoned his post. You may find Unar in Frerin's court. If I were you, I would tread carefully around him. Ah. I'm scared. Oh, this guy can make uh, things a little bit harder for you. Um, I don't think we'll bother with that at the moment. Might do it a bit later. New mail. So, got one from Dwaylin. Uh, a letter of commendation. Greetings, I heard you were back in the area and I've written a letter of commendation for you. Others you held have pitched in what they could and placed it all in a nice gift box. Oh. Be sure to collect and read the letter from the gift box. Then seek out Lanin in Selendim or Bogey Deep Delver outside Thorin's Hall or Dwaylin of the Longmeres. So we'll detach that item. And then Bimble sent us some silver. 100 silver. Thanks, Bimble. Delete that. So we're going to this now. Right, we'll start opening this. And see what we've got. So uh, it's a gift that just keeps on giving. Right, we've got a wrapped horse whistle here. Um, that was the old way that you got a horse. But um, I'll save that. We'll just put that in the vault. We've got horses coming out of our ass at the moment. are just um, obviously morale boosts and power boosts. We've got a couple of more um, dies. Outfitting yourself and others, I believe, is a quest. So we'll accept that. And put that over there. What else? We've still got this to open. A writ of special passage. Percent run speed, put that down here. Got some regenerative food. 
and yet another box of goodies. So the Tome of Defense, we'll use that at some point. Max Morale. Max Power. And plus 5% to attack again. Yeah, we can use that at a later date. sort of got boxes inside boxes here and this goes up to um, this is minimum the next box is minimum level 8 so as soon as we get to level 8 we'll be able to open it so pull that over there I need to sell some stuff and let's see if we can get to a vault Crafting the Maker's Hall. Come and stay a moment, friend. Our struggles against the Dower Hands and the Doblins continue with great vigour, Bimblin. But we must also do what we can to better the craftsmanship of the goods created within the Blue Mountains. My friend, the Eagle Old Beard, has a greeted fledgling crafters for the past 130 years. It keeps him young, he says. You should speak with him in the Maker's Hall if you are interested in turning your eye towards fashioning of goods and equipment. Go north, up the steps into Thorin's Hall proper. Once inside, walk north past the great statue and pass into the next hall. Turn to the east when you are halfway across the floor and you will descend some more steps to the Maker's Hall. Old Eagle will be pleased to speak with you. Awesome. I'm going to go down here first. Get some uh, quests around here. I would Close be grateful it. for your assistance. Can you keep a secret? I was exploring an old cave over yonder when I was attacked by one of those vicious cave claws. In the fight, I accidentally left my pickaxe behind. Could you go and get my pick for me? And while you're at it, kill off a few of those cave claws so I can continue my digging in peace. The cave is in the southeast, in the winter heights. Hurry now, I think I was nearing a vein of gold when they drove me out. We'll do that. Oh. Ah, this here is a return home and uh, I'll show you how to use that probably next episode we'll just pick up, pick up a few of the quests here then uh, we'll call it an episode and then we'll, we'll pop inside Thorin's Hall next episode but let's pick up all these quests Ooh, that's a reflecting pool um, deep stone Oh, right. Um, places of the dwarves. <laughs> this guy, Tinder. Wonder where his brother is. Grinder. Is a moment I, of your time too much to ask. I, I am Tinder, master builder of Thorin's Hall, the great canal for which I am responsible has recently fissured. The crack has not yet become a serious threat, but it's only a matter of time, and I haven't any builders available to assist with its repairs. Could you help me seal the fissure? I need to mix a mortar to seal the crack, but our stores are barren. I will need stone and gypsum from the new Merkstone tunnels, well, we've just been in there, and sand from the rock belly pit. Well, we know where that is, so that's fine. The Merks. Oh, he's just telling us where they are. Yep, we know where they are. If we do not seal the crack soon, it may break, flooding the Vale of Thrain below, so we'll accept that. Alice Shimmer's shield. Welcome. You have come at a most fortuitous time. Hello there, friend. I was just thinking of all the things I've got to do. And me here on duty. I've got my brother's armour to get polished. He'd do it himself if he had a mind to, but I'm afraid Callie does not have our family's sense of duty. He'll never earn his commander's respect, always being late, never diligent in his duties, always wearing his old worn armour and filthy uniform. Perhaps you could be of some service to an old warrior. Warrior, I mean. Warrior? Warrior. Could you bring this armour up to Bruni Stonehelm and have him polish it for me? Bruni stands among the armour merchants of Thorin's Hall where the canal runs through the mountain. Yep, we'll do that for you, mate. No problem. Oh, mate. Might you, you lend me an ear? Welcome and well, mate. I could use your help if you have a moment. I have a bit of a problem. 
Nothing terrible, mind you, but difficult for this old dwarf. You see, it's my son, Gizli. He's a good fellow and all, but he is young and doesn't have the experience of his elders. He has just received his first post down at Nogland in the Vale of Thrain. I want to send Gizli his favourite meal so he knows I'm thinking about him, but I don't have the most important ingredient. Cave claw legs. You can bring me a batch. I just know Gizli will be pleased. You can find cave claws in the old mine east of Thorin's Hall. You've not had a good meal until you've tasted my stew. Super, we'll do that for you, mate. And yep, we got Captain Una. What is the meaning of this? Good, you received my summons. At least someone knows their duty. Come now, we must speak of circumstances most dire and worrisome. Is a moment of your time too much to ask? The news I have received is most unsettling, Bidmlin. One of our armories has been left unguarded. Vithar has been a stalwart and dependable guard until now, but he's apparently abandoned his post. Outrageous. I want you to investigate the unguarded treasury and confirm that Vithar is not there. If anything is missing, I'll have his armour. He was next in line for a commendation, but after this he won't say any praise for 30 years. The army cave is to the northwest, very near to the great statue of Thorin carved in the mountain. Go there and look for Vithar. services found in the finest of towns. Keep your equipment in tip-top shape and craft with great speed. Who would have said that? Greetings, friends. Uh, here you go, safe travels. Should you pass this way another day, Bimbley, I would be happy to provide these gifts again. These only last so long, these gifts. But um, they are very useful indeed. Especially that one. That's going to allow us to use the town services. And we're now going to open our vault. And we're going to add space to it, which will give us an extra 15 slots. And then we're going to put something here. We're going to use chest 10 to put all these fireworks in. It doesn't matter that um, we're using some of it, as long as we don't destroy it, we can put it in the vault and uh, we'll s it'll still show on us. But if we destroyed any of this, then um, we wouldn't be able to wear it. But as it is, as long as we keep it in a vault or in our inventory, we're fine. Uh, what else can I put? Expires after 24 hours anyway. Um, okay, chest seven. Put our dies. We'll just use those to die armor and stuff, but we'll wait till we get some decent armor to die. So, which will be quite a while. Um, this down here. And what's that? So, yep, got rid of them 
most of it. And meet the stable master. Well met. It's so another stable master, but that's for you sort of go away and do um, special um, special fights and stuff. We'll do that later. Right, is there somebody I can sell stuff to? Not really. So I'm just going for in total because I want to sell some stuff. And I'll pick up any quests that are in Thor in total, then we'll call it a day. Start fresh next time. Probably been about an hour, an hour and a bit, haven't we? This is Thorin's Hall. I didn't actually go in before. Right, this is called a milestone. So this thing here will be bind to the milestone. Back to Thorin's Hall, as if by magic. Bavor, Greetings, Traveller! Greetings, I wonder if you could lend me a hand. I've been trying to repair this device which opens access to the old vault of the mountain, but some key pieces, ancient gears, were removed and scattered long ago to prevent the Dower Hands getting their grubby hands on the vault treasure. Now that we've been finally ousted the Dower Hands from Thorin's Hall, it's time to open the vault, but first this device must be repaired. Old Sindri Winchmaster, the artificer who made this, had skill far beyond mine, so I'll need the actual pieces that were lost to have any hope of getting it to work again. They say the first missing gear was hidden somewhere in an old cave in Winter Height, up the path southeast from Thorin's Hall. You'll probably find it in a chest somewhere in the cave. There is a trick to the chest, by the way. You have to press in at the corners to open. Babo. Uh, just to show you around here, um, if you're on free to play, and obviously you don't have this town services thing that I've got here, so if you're on free to play, this is where you have to come for the auction house. So this, I believe, is the auction house in here. You also have to come here to use like the mailbox again because I'm a VIP I can use the mailbox anywhere and vaults the vaults are on this side so if you want to put your stuff in your vault and you're free to play you have to go this way and this is where you can put stuff in your vault again it doesn't affect me because I am a VIP subscriber. Something that can be turned in. Yeah, we've already got a copper bound. Okay, we've sold all that. Around the corner is the guy who polishes armour, so I'll show you where he is. There he is. A new shine. Well met. What's this? I know that armour. That's Halley's, unless I miss my guess. I haven't the time to polish his armour again. I'm far too busy. I was supposed to go down to Nogland, the way station to the south, and pick up the guard's damaged armour. No, I have no time to clean Halley's armour today. You will just have to leave it here and I'll see if I can get to it before next week. Unless... You can go down to Noglond and retrieve the guard's armour for me. 
So we'll do that. Get polish it. Done that. Down there is when we get that mortar. We'll be going down there to fix the uh, fissures. If I recall correctly, down here is um, where you can do some crafting. It's another crafting hall. And that eagle. Eagle is down there. It's a hobby master. So we can I learn fishing. And I won't read those out. It's just telling you. Greetings, traveller! You can learn. And they've got another hobby now. Alright. Birding. Greetings, Bird traveller. Weird. Will you stay a moment? At your service, champion. Now that you've learned the ways of the fisherman, perhaps you could aid me in delivering a message to an old friend. I wish to inform Noki of my latest catch. The largest I have ever seen, and I dare say, the largest fish ever caught in Erin Lewin. It's enormous, I tell you. Nearly a stone in weight. A pity I don't have proof of my catch, for after I had the beast in my bucket, it made a mighty leap and escaped back into the channel. Yeah, right. We believe you. Go to Nogland and speak with Noki. Tell him of my catch and see if he's caught any bigger. Yeah, Noki's just gonna go like, yeah, what about the crap? Oh. I forgot about this. It's just another deed. And it's, um, it's just sort of markers that the dwarves make. And uh, you can find them in different areas of uh, Middle Earth. that and do we have another I just want to make sure that I'm picking up all of the quests in here before we call it a day Twailing does not have quests for us he will do but not yet so I think we've picked everything up and I think it shall I Yes. I'll dismount here. And we can do it. There's, there's Egg Eagle. There. So we'll do him. Start next turn. Do his quest. Next turn. Next uh, episode. We'll do his quest. And we will also become. Um, we'll also pick up our crafting skills. Next turn. We'll take a visit to. I'm going to take a visit to the Lotro store as well, I won't show you that um, but I'm going to buy a couple of things and I'll show you what I've bought um, they just make crafting much easier So, um, and an additional thing I'm going to do is when you start crafting you get three crafting skills that you can do um, but I'm going to buy another one so I get four crafting skills and I'll tell you the reason for that next time. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Um, the introduction is over. Now we're fully onto the prologue and just doing the quests around Thorin's Hall. So, toodaloo for now, and I'll see you next time.